Och så är det Jon. Jon. Jon och K. Åh, oh, sneeze. <laughs> My interpretation of animal behavior, as you can see, everybody, superlative. He's going to call or sneeze. He's quite a splendid fellow, though, isn't he? Especially when he's sitting up with his golden black mane shining in the sun. So much more regal than when he's sort of lying next to a rotting buffalo carcass in a pile of his own excrement, which is unfortunately what lions do. And it has been confirmed, everybody, that the other male leopard that stole the kill from quarantine was um, Wazimvula, his father. So I think that's quite nice on a number of levels. Firstly, it means that quarantine was relatively safe because he was with his dad and not with, uh, with Tingana, who I think would have perhaps taken exception to having the young pretender in his territory. And likewise, it also says to me that Mvula is not quite as decrepit as, uh, and I use that term advisedly, knowing that it's going to create a furor on Twitter that I've described Mvula, beloved leopard that he is, as decrepit. But he's, uh, you know, he's, he's not territorial anymore, but it obviously means he's still strong enough to handle uh, a bit of competition from some youngsters and it's clear that quarantine backed off from Mvula, so that's nice to know. He can hear something, he keeps looking up and now he's biting a stick. <laughs> He's a lovely fellow, I must say. And, uh, you know, many of you, of course, will know the uh, the Matimba male, the, the black mane Matimba male that we called Hairy Belly for a long time. And we know that he's got a twitch in his face. He's got that sort of twitch on his left, the left side of his mouth. This chap doesn't look entirely different. He also looks like he's got a bit of a twitch. Did you see that, Brian? Mm. All right, let's head back to the leopard and find out what she's doing. I'm going to sit with this lion.